Hi, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and I just wanted to show you a very strange thing that I found the other day when I was puttering around the RV. So the RV is in a storage yard right now, not plugged into anything. Um, I do have my solar system on um, and I did have my inverter turned on at the time and I was getting, when I was touching the metal parts of the RV, I was getting a little bit of a tingle. Um, I've heard of that before, of a, called the hot skin effect, which usually is a symptom of something miswired when you're plugging into shore power and you actually electrify your RV. So, that was weird. So first thing I did was grab my, it's a non-contact voltage tester, and it will uh, check for voltage. So, let's turn that on. And you can see it's going off like crazy. All over my RV. There's my stairs. What the hell? So I um, turned off my uh, solar system and my inverter, turned everything off, even disconnected the batteries, although it shouldn't be DC voltage, and uh, still was getting it. So I pulled out my meter and stuck one of the, the two probes into the ground and then checked my metal here. Let's go on my stairs. And you can see I have 148 volts on my RV. That's bizarre. If I touch it with my hand, of course, instantly I suck it down. But that is weird. So it doesn't have a lot of current to it. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. Why would I have that much AC voltage on my rig when I'm not plugged in? So I started to look around and I went to some of the other RVs in the lot. And uh, some of them actually were doing the same thing. So I started to look around, and let's show you what I found that explained it. Let's just go up here. There we go. You see these big uh, high tension wires? Well, they go right above the RV storage facility. All right, like that. <laughs> what a bizarre thing. Freaked me out at first, but I thought, well, I'll, I'll put it online so people can uh, can see what's going on but that's an important little thing to check on your RV and I carry these around all the time and when I plug in or, or want to check outlets in case they're mis miswired I can always check and uh, see if my RV has become electrified and this proves the case it's ultra sensitive even those high wire high tension wires were enough to induce a little bit of voltage into the RV in comparison to ground so Pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Handy little device to have. Um, I'll put a link if you wanna if you wanna buy one in the in the show notes. There, they're not very expensive, but they're uh, pretty cool. They're called a non-contact voltage tester. Comes in really handy. I was actually talking to the to the owner of the the um, storage yard, and he says those wires are are putting out about a hundred and ten thousand volts so <laughs> and I think they're about 60 feet high <laughs> cool okay until next time Ray from Love Your RV take it easy cheers